on a really beautiful December 27, 2023. And come on, Charlie, get over here. Look who, look who's here with me. We are far from the Abbey. Good time, Charlie. Good time, Charlie. Had to here. come. Yeah, and thank you, buddy. And we also have one of the original Wranglets. That is, that's Margaret who started. Um, Wrangler with me, man, she, she started back maybe about six, seven years ago. She was At one least. of my videos. Yeah. And there she is. And that, that the can't keep her the grounds. Charlie, pan around and show the grounds around here. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful estate out here. Sitting on 600 acres of, of land, big old pond, airstrip. It, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And, uh, and actually, the hive that we're here to look at today is going home with Margaret. So what are we going to be doing today? This... It's going to be a mess is what it's going to be. <laughs> so look at it. This, this actually is an observation hive. Now this, this box has been here for 17 years. And in 17 years, there have always been bees in this box. So I have been told. And... I have also been told that in the 17 years of this box being here, they have not even gone in it in the last 14 years. So, and judging from what it looks like, I would I would have to say <laughs> it's been a while since this hive has been into. In fact, let me grab the camera and I'm gonna show you the condition of this box. If you look at it just from this view it's not too bad it really isn't too bad but come around the side of it and oh, we got a little roof problem right there and there's our entrance to our hive bees are using that right now and then as we come around the back side of it oh yeah that it's looking really really bad we have look at all the water damage it's just rotten right along in here the hive is leaning back towards this way. You can tell that by that shot. And then we come around to the back side or the other side of it. And first thing, oh, complete roof failure. The, the roof that was gabled at one time is now flat. <laughs> and that you can really see the angle of that box right there. And this big hole right here where I guess they did use that as an entrance, but look at look at the base, how it's just falling down. Basically, this is about an average uh, beehive for the dirt rooster. This one's actually in pretty good shape if it was one yeah, of the roosters. Yeah, he, he would definitely use Oh yeah, he'd be using this for another five or six years for sure. The plan today is for us to go into this hive and remove it. Now it's a top bar, so I'm assuming that there's just going to be bars on the top where we separate them and we lift it up, the foundation, the comb will come out. And what we're going to do is we are simply going to remove the comb from the top bar and rubber band it into a frame because it's going to go into a Langstroth hive. So that's, that's the plan of it. Pretty straightforward um, and judging by the uh, looks of this comb, it's been here for a while. It's probably been here for a little bit longer than Charlie has been alive, but not much. I'm telling you, it's, it's in bad shape. It's in bad shape. I don't know. I don't see any stores in this area. I'm sure it's going, we'll find some here, but uh, I, I, I won't know anything until we get inside there. Look. So, Charlie, how long do you think this job's going to take us to do? He always says two hours, but I got a feeling it's going to be longer. No, no way. Charlie, it took us 45 minutes to get here. I'm saying we'll be out of here in an hour and 15 minutes. That's my guess. Oh, we'll, we'll see. All right. So, Charlie, you ready to wrangle? Ready to go. Let's wrangle these bees out here and put them into a Langstrom. All right. I feel, I feel just honored and privileged. Like, I'm going to be the first one to take this roof off this beehive in 14 years. And, uh... I got a present for these bees when I open them up. I got the smoker lit. <laughs> so I don't know. It's cool right now. As you can see, the bees are in there. So they're, they're not going to appreciate my opening up, up this lid. So let's go ahead and take it off and 
find out what we're looking at. All right, look at look at all the red ants up here. Look at this. So that that is a problem right there for me. So I'm going to scrape all these guys off of here. This this is no good. This this is going to be biting me. Bees don't appreciate me scraping on their roof. They think I'm like Santa Claus rain, laying in his reindeer up here, I guess. Lots of red ants, oh my gosh. Another thing, I don't want this dirt falling down inside of this hive either. So I definitely want this off of here. Now, our game plan for today is one that I, I, I really haven't done it this way because being that it's as cold as it is, I, I want to keep the bees on the comb. So we've already started putting the rubber bands on on the frames and I'm going to try to keep as many bees on the on the frames as as I possibly can now since the bees that are going to be on the frames are mostly going to be hive bees they, they're going to stay on the frame they're going to stay on that on that piece of comb now we're going to have some of the uh, foraging bees field bees like the ones that are flying around right now um, they're gonna they're gonna come out and fly around and possibly go back to the hive but the hive bees since they aren't even oriented they have no place to go except to stay on the comb so for that reason we're gonna frame them up and we're gonna just drop them right into their box and then what we plan on doing after we've taken out the majority of the comb well all of the comb any bees that are in there we're gonna use the bee vac we're gonna suck them up. And then when we go back to Margaret's, then we'll release those bees along with these bees. So I think what I'm gonna start is with a few puffs of smoke to let them know that I'm coming in. But they, they seem pretty calm. This first, this first bar, it's just like rotted out. I don't even know if it's going to come out. This one is in really bad shape. I'm, I'm guessing that the comb isn't going to come with it, but who knows? We'll find out. Let's see what happens. You know, better plan. I think we're going to start at the other end and work our way this way. That way. I'll have wiggle room. I have got no wiggle room right now. So we're going to start at this end. And since we know there's no bees at this end, this isn't going to be any problem starting our entrance into the hive. So look at that. Here's her end board right here. Look at that. Pretty slick, huh, Charlie? Yep. Very nice. And here is our very first section of comb. And look at what's on the other side. A little bit of honey on it. So for right now, I'm not going to try to frame any of this stuff up. I just want to. I want to get get in here and get to the bees. So. I'm going to just set this stuff on the side and we're going to come back to this. You know, and I said that, keep on putting it on the side, but this next frame, 
it's a frame full of honey now I see it it's already breaking off the comb is already broken off look at the honey on this we need the ice chest yeah um, Margaret would you get the the the, um, the ice chest so here's our first section of honeycomb not bad Now that I got a little room, I can get in here and cut this comb that they built along the sides to disconnect the frame. Go ahead and give me the bee back. Let me back in some of these bees. a lot more bees in there than you thought. No, I knew there was a bunch of bees in there. Those girls were definitely going to make it through the winter. Oh, yeah. They I mean, got lots of food. Charlie, come get a shot of inside here, please. Generally, the bees won't attach the bottom of the comb to the box, but if any of the comb should break off at any time and fall to the bottom, the bees will attach comb to it. And that's what's happened here. Here's a piece that had fallen off previously. And when they start building their comb, they'll attach it to this stuff. And that makes it impossible for you to, to pull it out. So that last piece I had to cut off. And this piece as well, I'm going to have to cut off. As you can see it right here, this section right here is comb, old comb that fell to the bottom of the box and then the bees attached the comb to it. And it looks like the way the bottom of the box came up. Right, so that's another the... thing. You can see how it's the curve right here and how they've accommodated, built more comb at this end. So you see how on this piece of comb that the bees didn't draw the comb out. But if you look at this section, you can see the bottom one bulging out to fill in that space. So more than likely what happened, this section of the comb had fallen down into the box. And since they had that big void, you can see how the bees built out the comb right there. And Hopefully after we get past this 
it'll all start lining up again nice and straight but it's what happens these when these hives get so hot the comb just breaks off because it's full of honey and it's weak it's not strong enough to support it there's no foundation there's no wires in this so the comb just breaks off and that's when issues occur that the comb is laying on the inside of the box and then they start attaching comb to it so again it's a probably gives credence to the fact that they haven't been in this box in a long time otherwise if at a year after if you go into your box every year you'll be able to clean that stuff up where you don't have those issues so pretty interesting As you can see, there's more fallen comb down there. And, and I don't know if Charlie filmed it all about how difficult it was to remove this piece of comb, but it's because it was attached to the bottom and it was really far back. But it came out in nice one piece. And Charlie got it. <laughs> of course Charlie got it. to the bees now. Well, you can hear them. some high beetles. So we've taken out, I don't know, I didn't count, I, I'm saying about 10 or 11 frames already and we're really into the honey part at this, at this part. You saw there's a lot of honey. These bees definitely had their stores in them uh, and I've used the smoke to kind of push them back a little bit but we're really getting into where the area of the bees where we can't really push them out anymore because they're just going to start coming out at this end. So it, it's going along really, really nice and nice. I mean, it really is. Uh, the comb is hard, hard, hard. My, my guess, this comb, golly, it's easily five-year-old comb, if not more than that. It's, it's old. It really is. Now, I did see one thing as I pull that last frame out, Charlie, look, look in here. 
we got a hole down here as well. So they probably were using this hole as, as some sort of ventilation hole, uh, possibly an entrance. I, I, I couldn't tell you. There's probably a lot of entrances on this hive that we'll never know about. But interesting that that hole is right there. I've never seen a hole on the bottom of, of a long uh -huh. hive before. So we're getting, we're getting closer to, I, I'm expecting, hopefully, hopefully, that we'll, we'll find some brood somewhere in this area right here. So we got a few more frames of honey to pull out and maybe we'll find some brood pretty soon. I'm gonna turn it on a little bit. That's where the multi-tool would come in handy. Yeah, I thought about it, but I knew we didn't have electricity, so... Well, we had a generator. Can we have a generator? Uh-huh. Charlie always has a generator. <laughs> Look at all this honey, huh, Charlie? I'm telling you. God. It's a healthy, a healthy hive. But this honey's got to be two-year-old honey, the look, looking at it. I mean, there's no, you got some new honey up here, some new stuff up here. Golly, for the most part, this is old stuff. Kind of like you, Charlie. I know. I'm starting to grow moss. That's the first pollen that I've seen right there. It, it almost looks like it's dusty. <laughs> it does. <laughs> kind of nasty looking. Close, Charlie. I see that. Oh. Mm -hmm. there. <laughs> So here, here, here's our first pieces of brood. Look, we got some uncapped brood right here. And some older brood right here. So when you find this uncapped brood, like this stuff right here, uh, this, this is where we're gonna start looking for our queen. So now, this is gonna be our first piece um, that we since we got the, the high bees are just staying on the brood right now We're gonna let them stay on the brood and we're going to go ahead and frame this one up on our frame So this will be our first one that we frame up Cut the comb and Hopefully not get much honey out of it Right off of the bar And leave those bees right there now I've already vacuumed the other side off. Man, this comb is hard as can be. This is when I want my electric tool 
because it would just go right through this stuff. By the way, that's the top. This is the top right here, Charlie. Yeah, it needs to go over oh. there. Right, some hard cone. Yeah, and it My fell goodness. through the, the frame. There you go. All right. We're going to go drop this one right into the box. Our first one. Frame up as well. I'm going to not even vacuum the bees off of this one. But I am going to be looking for our queen. I didn't see her on this side. Let's see if she's on this side. See you, Charlie? Not yet. No, I don't see her either. Oh, wait, there she is. Is that her right here? No. Oh, I saw her. Uh, no, uh, I, I saw her. I saw her. It's like a big butt. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the way it was sticking up. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's cut this frame out of here. Nice wow. group of bees. And we gotta get that a little bit better situated. There you go. Wow. Yeah, put that in the box. That's beautiful. Full of brood, golly. Look at this, Charlie. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Lots of brood. But generally, our queen isn't found on old brood, but since we're dissecting this colony, she, she's not going to stay on, on one frame. She's going to run. So generally, she's not on old brood. She's, you're going to find her where you see newer brood. I looked for her on this side. I didn't see her. So this is the side I'm going to place down on, on our frame. She may be on the back side of this one.
Nope. I didn't see her either. No. Well, look, we got uncapped brood right here. A lot of uncapped brood. A lot of uncapped brood. We want to keep the bees on it, that's for sure. Beautiful. Nice big clusters. Oh, it smells so good. It's such a healthy smelling. I mean, our queen may be in there, but who knows? We're going to keep on looking. Let's get that in the box. He's running. I thought I saw. <laughs> they run into the other side. So Charlie, it's working, keeping the bees on the brood. It's working real good. Yeah, uh, other than we might not find our queen because she's buried underneath all that'll, those bees. That'll be okay. Yeah. Let's just keep on pulling frames. Yep. Thank goodness. I'm glad you organized now. Come on, Queenie. I'm looking on the other one. Come on, girl. Well, we got more brew, Charlie. We She's got gonna more be on that last one. Yeah. She's gonna be on the last one. Let's get this one cut off. That is a lot of bees. God, it's a healthy hive. Healthy hive. Yes, it is. See, folks, goes to show you, you don't need to go in your box to have healthy bees. We're going to catch her in the box, Charlie. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, wow. that's a nice cluster. Wow. Look at this. We got bees all on the outside. There's a good chance our queen has already run outside of the box over here. But don't worry, we're gonna go through this. We're gonna we're gonna scoop her up. Oh, 
I see her. I got her. I got her right there. Oh yeah, Charlie's cheating. He's looking on the frame. Look at her. Look at that big old butt girl. All right, we're gonna leave her in there for right now, Charlie. Look at her. Look at her. We'll let her. We'll let her alone for right now. We're gonna go do this. Okay, wait. She's already run behind. She, she oh. ran behind. Me. Oh, good. Go ahead. Don't drop. Straight to the box. We know she's not in there. Nope, we know that. Oh, look at all that. They had pollen on that sign. Jeez. So eagle-eyed Charlie saw that, that girl. She was right here when Charlie saw her, and she ran around to the back side. So there's a very, very good chance she's going to be on the back side of, of this section of comb right here. So I got my glove off. And Got the cage in hand, and let's see if we, she's on the back side. Good. She ain't on there, Charlie. She's on the other one. You don't see her, do you? I'm looking. She got that big old red butt. I know. She's beautiful. It ain't gonna be hard to see her. No. Our last piece, and this is a raggedy piece of comb. I should say this is the first piece, huh, Charlie? Yeah. yeah and it's hopefully, the entrance piece. Hopefully, they didn't attach it to the face of the box I'm I'm suspecting our queen is going to be um, inside that box I don't, I don't know if we can find her on the frame though. But here we go I don't know if it's this frame is going to come out or what It's still attached. There's a lot of spots that it could be. And it very well may be on the back side. to the box. That's scary to put the knife down there knowing that you don't queen want to be head the queen. Take these bees down. Fish is on there. Do you see her in the box, Charlie? No. I'm looking. Yeah, she's not gonna get out. Right, we're gonna just shake these bees off. I don't even want this piece of comb in there. So our bees are all running over here, so this is where my guess the queen is somewhere where the bees are running to. So come on this side, Charlie. She's going to be in this bundle. Yeah. So I'm just going to um, scoop up Charlie and then I'm going to drop him into the box.
There she is. First handful, Charlie. Here. You see her? First handful. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Reach down here. Woo. Got her. Drop her in. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you, Jesus. Huh, Charlie? That's it. First handful, Charlie. That was beautiful. Sha we would have been proud of him. He would have been. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just vacuum up these bees right here. And we're gonna call it a wrap. Yep. Well, folks, guess what? That hive that was in here. It ain't there no more, but there it is, right over here. We got our queen sitting on the top, and, and we put her up here so that any of the hot bees or any bees flying around, they're going to come over here. So we're going to wait just a few more minutes. We've got really almost all the bees out of here. Now we got, there's robber bees showing up, and how can you tell the robber bees? Because a hive bee knows this is the entrance over here. These bees, they're just opportunists. They're taking advantage of some honey right there. So they're gonna clean that up. And Charlie, guess what? We're done. We're going to finish this video. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. We recording now, Charlie? We're on the air. <laughs> this is it. All right. Now, now, Margaret, it's been years and years since you've been a Wranglet, all right? Since yes, you it practice is. It, all right? So, oh folks, this is this is Margaret. From, she's actually from our bee club, just like Charlie and I. So, and, so years and years. Are you exhausted? No. <laughs> Why not? I didn't do the work, y'all did. I thought you found I, the queen. Yes, yes, I found the queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so you've been years out of practice. Mm -hmm. What did you think about this removal? Well, it was epic. Oh, epic. 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 That, that's the first time. We've I've never used epic. those big no. words before, so. Well, with the whole Is that in the, in the Arangles dialogue? Do you always use that a lot? No, that was the first. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> because it's the first time we've ever gone, I've gone into that type of hive and one that's that old. Yeah, it's old. Yeah. 14 years. Yeah, 14 years. And had, that hive had never been gone into in all those years. So it was epic. <laughs> Anything epic. else besides epic? Oh, uh, you guys did a great job. Yes. Well, thank Fi you. Thank finding you. the queen and at the very end, very end, and she was outside yeah. with the other girls. Yeah, hanging out. She was hanging out with hanging the girls. Out. Yeah. All right, so yeah. that's what you got, right? That's what I've got. All epic. Right. Charlie, epic. epic. Charlie, you got an epic thing? Epic closure? Oh, well, being with the Wranglet uh -huh. and on this beautiful piece of property yeah. and that gorgeous top bar hive <laughs> that Randy oh it's in the rooster. truck it's in the truck oh we it's got it we got it Randy don't worry it's coming it's, it's coming, coming. Yep. Merry Christmas Randy so so now you know how we close our videos right yeah uh -huh. how we do it I don't know oh come on <laughs> Margaret you see you really have been out of practice uh -huh. oh look there's one of your bees yeah so it's thanks for watching thanks for watching no. You're going to say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And Charlie's Keep going to on say, watching. And I'm going to say, we'll be making more. I'm going to say, God bless. And I'm going to say, Mr. Ed. And then you're going to say your name. Okay. Margaret the Wrangler. Okay. And good time, Charlie. And then we're out into the next video. Okay. So we're going to do a practice one. Okay. Right. Here, here it comes. Here it this is a practice. Okay. Okay. So you got anything else, Margaret? That's it. All right. So what are we going to say? Goodbye. <laughs> thanks for watching. Beautiful. Thanks for, with you. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's try that again. Let's she try. did it really good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. And we're going to be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed. Margaret the Wranglet. And good time, Charlie. We're out here to the next video. God bless, everybody. It was Heck, that fun. was good enough already. We don't have to do it again. That's right. And uh, Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Don't forget that. <laughs>